Hello and welcome. So in this lecture video, I'm continuing where I left off in the first one by talking about your syllabus, and then I'll also talk about your schedule and how to access McGraw-Hill Connect, and then go from there, okay? So as we talked about in the prior lecture video, you have homework, you have exam one, exam two, final chapter quizzes. Your exams are not cumulative, okay? Your exams are not cumulative. I just wanted to point that out. So let's talk about your exams. And I'm going to highlight this. There'll be three exams, okay? Uh, once you start exam one and exam two, you have two hours to complete each one. Once you start the final, you'll have two and a half hours to complete it. They are open note, open book. And what I'll do is I'll post exam study materials for each for each exam, a study guide, exam question distribution, practice test, and answers to the practice test. And what I'll do is I'm going to post these exams up on Canvas. And then after I post them, you will send your ex the completed answer sheet back to me within either two hours or two and a half hours, and you'll send it back to me via email. So I'm going to repeat that again. For each one of these exams, I'm going to post exam one, let's just say exam one, exam one up on Canvas, okay? I'll post it, and then after I post it, you have to send me back your completed answer sheet within two hours via email. Same with exam two. For the final, you have to email it back to me within two and a half hours, okay? With your chapter quizzes, those are on Connect, and those are intended to measure your your understanding of each chapter and also prepare you for the exam. The other thing about the chapter quizzes is that they keep you on schedule. It's very easy in an online class to just say, oh, watch the lecture videos the night before the test, you know, to get off track. But it is so important to stay on schedule with this course, okay? And the quizzes are going to force you to do that because they're due on certain dates, okay? Um, all the quizzes are available to start pretty early at a certain date, okay? And we'll see that up on Connect, but then they do have staggered due dates throughout the semester. And again, those staggered due dates are, that's done to keep you on track. Uh, they are also open note, open book. Once you start the quiz, you have an hour to complete it. Um, you will receive your feedback one hour, your correct answers one after one hour after the quiz due date, okay? That's when you'll get your, your grade. So homework, I do have homework that's up on, up on Connect, okay? And so I'll show you that when we get to Connect. And so those, all the homework is due at the end of the semester. And then the honor system, I do encourage study groups. Each student, you're just expected to do your own work. And then you, I do want you to pledge your exams, okay? You don't need to pledge your quizzes, but your exams. Disability statement, if you need extra time or any other accommodations for your exam, please let me know. And then we have our Title IX statement and then additional policies. I'm going to, I cannot discuss your grades with your parents, members of your family, or with your friends. Um, and like I said, with, with this course, I'll be posting your grades up on Canvas. Okay, and then my disclaimer. Let's go ahead and close out of the syllabus now, and let's take a look at your schedule. Okay. Here's your online schedule. So, from 622 to 628, course introduction, uh, you should be watching Appendix B lecture videos, Chapter 14 lecture videos, and Chapter 16 lecture videos. And also watch the course introduction lecture videos, and then here's the quiz due dates. Quiz due date for Appendix B, 624, 627 for Chapter 14, 71. So this is what I mean by those staggered due dates for the quizzes, okay? And then I'm also recommending that you complete that those homework assignments this that first week of, cl of class. Week two, 
629 to 75. Watch the lecture videos for chapter 17, chapter 18. Uh, complete those quizzes for chapter 17, chapter 18, and then complete chapter 17, chapter 18 homework. And then here I have the quiz due dates, and then here's your first exam. Okay. The week three, and this is a this is a really fast class, folks. So you've got to stay on schedule. Chapter 19, chapter 20, and chapter 21. Watch those lecture videos for those chapters. Complete those quizzes. Here are the quiz due dates, and then. Here's your homework assignments. The next week, chap uh, week four, chapters 22, 23, and 24, and you also have exam two, and you watch those lecture videos, complete those quizzes, and then complete the homework, and then your exam two is 714, okay? And then our week five, which is our final week. Now, this is only a five-week course, so folks, you've got to stay on track with the lecture videos and on the homework, okay? Watch those lecture videos do the quizzes, complete the homework. Uh, your final exam is on 723. 722 is a reading day. And then you do have an extra credit paper, which you can choose to do. And I'll review that here later on in this lecture video. It's posted up on Canvas. Your extra credit paper is due to me via email by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 23rd of July, okay? And so I'll talk about your extra credit paper options here in a second. So let's come back over here to modules and let's talk about how to access connect. So to get to connect, click here, download that file. Okay. You click over here and then you're going to purchase your access code. You'll purchase your access code here. Okay. Or you could have, uh, if the home, if the bookstore, I gave that, I believe I gave that to the bookstore. So you should be able to also get it from the bookstore, but, because you're you're off campus, it might it's probably just easier to purchase it straight from there. Okay, purchase it straight from there. All right, so you can go there and get your access code, and that's how you register for my class for the summer. So you have to make sure to click on this link to register for my class for the summer. Okay, if you've already purchased an access code, if you took a County 101 in the spring semester, your access code should still be good for this summer semester. So if you've already purchased an access code for a prior, for a County 101, what I would recommend doing is to call McGraw Hill Connect, call, call their tech support number and see, is this access code still valid? That way you don't buy it again, okay? So do that first. If you've already purchased an access code, see if it's still valid. If it hasn't timed out, and if it's still valid, then all you got to do is click on this link to register for my course. So you have to make sure you register for my course, okay, by clicking on this link. And once you do, you'll come over here, and here's what it looks like for you. I'll click on Student View. Okay. So here's our Student View. And then here's all your Appendix B homework, and you can see all your homework is due July 22nd, okay? It's all due July 22nd. Okay? So, if I come back, the other thing is you have quizzes, and you'll see those quizzes, and so if I look at chapter, this is Appendix B quiz, and so you'll be accessing your quizzes on McGraw-Hill Connect. Go to back, back to that student view and find your Appendix B quiz, and you can see the appendix, the due date for Appendix B quiz is 624 for chapter 14, 627. And again, that's done to help you stay on track with the course content. I don't do your exams on McGraw-Hill Connect. I don't do your exams up on Canvas. I don't use the quizzes up on Canvas. The quizzes are done in Connect. Your homework is done on Connect. Your textbook is also on Connect. And so this is where you can access your textbook by clicking on the link provided for you. And then you'll be able to access the textbook. And that's where you can read the textbook, OK? Um, but anyways, the quizzes and the homework are done on Connect, not on Canvas. Your exams, I post a PDF and then a Microsoft Word document with your exams 
up on Canvas. And as I was saying earlier, those are due back to me via email. So your exams are posted up on Canvas in the form of a Word document or PDF. You print it off or you fill it out on Microsoft Word and you send me back your answer sheet. Okay, exams are not here. What's here on Connect? Homework, quizzes, and your textbook. Okay, so that's how you access Connect right over there. Uh, let's talk about your course pack. And so if I, so I have your course pack, which is all your course notes in terms of a Word document, but also a PDF. I'll go ahead and open up the PDF. And so with this, you can, you can print this off or with the Word document is you can just type in onto the Word document if you want to, but this is all your course notes. Okay. So the way that these lecture videos work, all right, is, is it's me with a document camera going over all these course notes. Okay, so that's Appendix B, for example. And these course notes have topics, as you can see, and then they have practice problems. And then I do some of the problems in the lecture video, and then I tell you in the lecture video, pause the lecture video and then work on those practice problems. So for example, I'll be discussing this in the chapter 14 lecture videos. And then here's some practice, I review this problem review some of these problems and then maybe with this one I'll say do this one pause the lecture video and then check your work okay and so the course notes are posted both as a PDF and a Microsoft Word document we come back over here remember everything is under modules so let's take a look at these lecture videos so I have two sets you have longer lecture videos and you can see the lecture videos, there's not as many per chapter. It's the same course content. You can go here. Here's all the lecture videos for chapter 14 like this and chapter 15, so on and so forth. Those are the previous, and these are a little bit longer. You can use those, or if you would like, you can also come over here, and these are the shorter ones that I recorded this summer, over the past month actually. The other ones have been recorded a while ago, but it's still the same content. But then you can see I've chunked the course content into small, shorter 15 minute lecture videos. Each one of these is 15 minutes and it covers specific topics within each chapter. Okay. You can, you are free to use either. Okay. So if I come back over here to modules, so I've gone over the course notes. This is an Excel spreadsheet that shows you how to do present value, future value in Excel. And I'll review that one of our, during one of our con conference sessions. These are additional problems and solutions to additional problems, okay, for each chapter, all right? Um, how to print the notes. If you would like to print multiple pages of notes on one physical piece of paper, this document shows you how to do that. And then, the other thing is, before I talk about the extra credit, is you do have some grade calculators. So here's how to, this, this spreadsheet shows you how to calcul calculate your grade after the first exam and then after the second exam. So I have those grade calculator spreadsheets right up there. And then I have, so I have posted all the solutions to all the additional exercises and problems that are at the end of each chapter all here, okay? Let's take a look at the extra credit. So your first one is on free economics, and then your second one is on time management. I'm not going to go through each one in too much depth because you can you can read it. Uh, but just quickly, let me kind of tell you about the point distribution. It's due to me. It's at 5 p.m., so not noon at 5 p.m. per the per the schedule, and it's worth 15 points on the final. So you can either do this one or you can do the time management one, which is the second one. The way this works is let's say you get an 80% on the final exam. Let's say you get 15 out of 15 on the extra credit. What goes in my grade book for the final exam is the 80 plus the 15 on 95. These are both papers, okay? And so you can review the papers and decide if you want to do them. And they are due to me via email on final exam day, okay? So just to reiterate, Everything here, everything on Canvas is under modules. And then we use McGraw-Hill Connect for the quizzes 
and your homework, and I will post the, the exams up on Canvas. Thanks.